Hello everyone, welcome to Man Manga Boy Red Man Mangas, okay? I got the usual here. Um, and I guess a comic volume, I don't really know. I don't know if I should count that as my 12. <laughs> but I am, I'm counting it for some reason. Let's jump into it. Spy Family, volume eight. We get exactly what I wanted to get, and that was the assassin. What does Yor do on her missions? So we follow Yor through her mission on this cruise here. And Anya, of course, trying to help her. Uh, I really do enjoy uh, this story quite a lot because we don't have too many assassin Yor stories, in my opinion. Um, especially now that there's one as long as this. A lot of action, a lot of killing. So that's kind of different for the series. You know, there's not usually so much violence. It's not like a very gory series or anything like that, but still pretty funny and pretty shocking to see it. Uh, very happy to see it too. It wouldn't be right if the assassin doesn't have any killing, right? Mao, volume seven, a little bit more interesting in this volume. We get to find out more about, um, you know, the uh, Goku Dojo. Goku, Goku. Um, so that is interesting. We see how Mao actually joined the team. We see what's going on. And we start a fight here, which is pretty cool. Um, not against... It's like No Jose. What's it? what's the name exactly? Difficult name for me to remember. Shiranue, that's it. Um, Shiranue ends up fighting with Mao in Kamon, which is cool. Um, you know, underwater. We get also some help to go underwater with this cool whale that's made of clay, which is really neat. We learn more a lot about the earth spells. This guy thinks he's healing people, but he's killing them. Uh, some people have been dead for a while and then they find out and then they're gone gone, which is kind of weird. Um, pretty interesting. Definitely better than the other volumes have been, in my opinion. Uh, some action too, which is good. Always gotta like some action. Elusive Samurai, volume two. I really like Elusive Samurai quite a lot. This is by the same creator as um, Assassination Classroom, as well as used to be a assistant in bo -bo 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 -bo. So that makes a lot of sense <laughs> in my opinion. Um, let's see, I think they were also, yeah, they wrote Nero's Supernatural Detective, which I actually didn't realize until I started to read through this for a little bit. They also helped with Ultimate Muscle and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh no, sorry. Some of their favorites are JoJo's and um, Ultimate Muscle. But they learned as an assistant in Bobo Bobo -bo 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 and wrote Nero Supernatural Detective. We get a little bit more um, insight on the guy with the good ears and the guy with the super good eyes. We do this little challenge on a horse where you have to shoot these dogs. So they're all shooting the dogs. The author tries to make the dogs look as mean as possible so you don't feel as bad for the dogs because they're shooting them with blunt arrows anyways, they're not killing them. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty exciting adventure. And we also find out what happens when he can't see the future and he's a pretty funny guy. And we leave off on that note as well where he doesn't know what's going to happen and it's kind of like a the end, which is cool. Um, you know, I really am excited to see more of it because seeing our main characters get in these little binds and seeing these other you know worthy foes show up because it seems like who could ever challenge this guy then you see these people with these really cool traits easily being able to challenge them so it's very interesting secret reverse by the late creator of yu hakusho uh, yu hakusho of yu gi oh kazuki kazuki takahashi um not super great honestly it was okay uh, essentially um our main characters, Spider-Man and Tony Stark, meet these two randos. One of them is the daughter of the main villain, Kaio, who looks kind of like Kaiba, in my opinion, except he's wearing a dual disc. Um, <laughs> that's literally what it seems like to me. And um, Spider-Man and Iron Man have to stop him before his dual disc takes over the world. That's, that's the whole plot. That's his dual disc. It's literally strapped to his chest. Um, but yeah, so these aliens took over his mind and is trying to convince him to open up a portal. Really, honestly, not that great. Um, I didn't expect it to come in like this either. Um, but yeah, it's about as good as you probably would expect, which is sadly not that very good. Um, Ghost Reaper Girl, on the other hand, another pretty good series. <laughs> so we get the fuse with the cat, which is really cool. So Chloe fuses with the cat, and I think she looks neato. That's kind of like a full picture of her. That's the cat spirit right there. Um, 
we meet a few other people who are in the organization and we get kind of aligned with the organization. Uh, also, we find this thing called the Killing Doll, also known as Shogoth, show up. And Shogoth can only say like one word, but Shogoth is a killing machine made by, uh, I think his name was like Henry or something like that. Um, but he's very interested in corpses, so he wants to kill Chloe so Chloe can be studied by him. And then they get kind of, uh, you know, distracted by a few trickier spirits that she's going to kill. We also find out that there's like this leveling system and a money cash system, which is really interesting um, for the... Uh, organization and it's all tracked from your smartphone which I thought was kind of funny. Um, Space Battleship Yamato, you'll notice that it's pretty e easily split up between this white and blackish part. This is a three-in-one from my understanding. Um, I really enjoyed everything in the black and the white. It was kind of slow uh, but it did get rolling towards the end. It uh, you know goes over Finding the space battleship Yamato and taking out the Gamalians, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and finding this thing called the, um, honestly, I can't even remember what it was called. But they wanted this this device that can kind of bring Earth back to life. So in this, you know, first white spot here, you know, this area, they, um, you know, are able to take out the Gamalians, go to this planet, and then get the, the thing to do that. The second, you know, two thirds of this volume actually covers what happens afterwards. Um, Space Battleship Yamato is being like, you know, decommissioned. Um, there's a shooting comet coming through and uh, we're not sure, is it the Gamalians are back? Is it a new threat? Is it gods or what is going on? So there's a lot of cool cosmic mystery happening here. Sadly, it doesn't end um, and I'm not sure why? Uh, maybe maybe Liji Liji Leiji Matsumoto didn't complete it, and or maybe Seven Seas just didn't want to bring it over. Uh, but it is very actually interesting and exciting. I am excited to read the re-release of it. Um, it's like Space Battleship Yamato 2099. Uh, so yeah, excited to read through that. We also have. Of course, the big O, volumes two and three. So that's volume three, and this is volume two. Um, so yeah, volume two kind of goes through with Dorothy. Uh, you know, we got her on our crew in the last volume. We uh, had this undead guy show up. We have these old people. We have a little bit more of these mysteries kind of hinted at and trying to sneak out some resolutions, but we don't get any real resolutions. Meanwhile, volume three, um, you know, covers through Angel and Beck and Roger, and they're trying to find this thing in this wasteland, which is pretty interesting, um, with this old man, and they have to drink, and they think it's related to finding the memories out. Oh, that was a blast. I don't remember that happening before in the anime. Maybe it did. We also get a hint at Oswald. I remember Oswald being crazy, uh, so I'm excited to see him pop up in the manga. Uh, again, Beck is a pretty obvious bad guy, and he's pretty funny, too. Big O also has to find this big thing. I remember it being in the anime, but maybe I'm just, you know, placing it in there. Uh, but yeah, this did start actually a few months before the anime started, and it ended a few months after, but only for season one. Uh, so there are a few differences in it, uh, in the manga from the anime. Uh, I believe the anime is considered the canon events, but the Big O manga has been very interesting so far. I would say worth a read if you like the series. Blue Lock Volume 2... Not really a huge uh, fan of this volume. They have to, um, you know, somehow figure out what it means to make a team one uh, with all these people who are trying to get points so they can stay on the team. Again, not... I, I just couldn't get into it. Uh, you know, it just seemed like they're playing soccer to me. There wasn't, like, a twist on it. At least it didn't feel like it. Uh, so I was reading through it. I just thought it was okay. Um, nothing too exciting compared to the other volumes I read. I would say this is probably only um, better than, than Simmer Reverse. I think I like everything else this week more, which is shocking to me. Um, maybe Look Back would be... Maybe I like Blue Lock more than Look Back, but I don't know. It's close. They're pretty tied. This is about a girl who is good at art, and then she hears about this other person who never comes to school who practices art all day. Because they have too much anxiety, they don't go to school, so she wants to become as good an artist as them and be in school, but then she loses her friend life. 
Then it goes to the future and like bad stuff happens to that person who doesn't talk to people after they get published and they jump comic together, kind of like Bakuman. So she goes, well, what if this was different? And then we go through the life again, but if this was different and I gotta say, uh, that was that, <laughs> you know, it was interesting. It was okay. It was weird. You know, that's probably the best way to put it. It was weird. Um, I wouldn't say you have to go out and read this. I wouldn't say that this is better than Chainsaw Man or Fire Punch or even like um, Hell's Paradise. Uh, but it is a Fujimoto work. So if you are a diehard Fujimoto fan, nothing I say is going to tell you to not buy this. But I will say this is nothing like Fujimoto's other work. And in my opinion, not quite as good. But it was still a read. <laughs> Uh, and with that, that is everything that I read this week. Here you go. Again, another view of it. Um, please, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. If you find anything you like, please use the right to the affiliate link down below to purchase those things. And uh, please share the video if you had a good time. Maybe your friends will too. We'll see you next week where I read more manga probably. Bye-bye.